and that's small business. We say all the time that small business is the backbone of America, 70% of our economy. But yet, when it's time for bailouts and different kind of things like that, it seems like it goes to these huge multinational businesses. And then we see afterwards, we, we're surprised when we find out that vacations are being had and, and private jets are being used and huge bonuses are being given. I don't know, maybe we need to give some more support to our local guys because they're going to keep that money in the community, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they tend to keep the money in the community? Wouldn't they tend to keep the jobs in the community? So that's, that's where I'm at. And I know we've got a lot of other issues, but really at this point, I'm just calling for us all to come together. To be lifted up, to be encouraged so we can go forward. Because yes, I could just, I guess, roll over and, and just sit down and, and not do anything. You know, for a guy like me to try to, people say, oh, RJ, how are you going to run for, for Senate? It's so big. It's so hot. You know, this is our country, folks. This is our government. And now, all of a sudden, it's become some sort of millionaire's club in the Senate. You, you have to be such at a high level to even want to do it. And I reject that. I'm sorry. As a citizen, if I want to go and represent Georgia at, in DC, I've gone to college, I've gone to law school, I've worked at Fortune 500 companies here and, and abroad, so I've got some experience. Why can't I go? Just because I'm not a, a connected with, with the various lobbyists and, 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 and a, have a huge multi-million you know, dollar corporation behind me? No. So what I say is, Let's go forward. I have a choice. We all have a choice. We have a choice to just kind of sit here and say, boy, Red Georgia, nothing we can do. Or we have a choice to fight. Well, I'm standing here today, folks, to say that R.J. Hadley, I choose to fight. All right. I choose to fight, and I need you to fight with me. I need you to fight with me. Will you fight with me? Yes. Right. People say, oh, it's an off, it's an off election, R.J. You, you're not going to have rock to, to carry you through. You can't ride his coattails in, in. Don't tell me about an off election. We know the, the, the pain and the, and the difficulties that are out there. And we know what we need to do. Amen. So let's get down to the business of doing it. Because right now the work begins. I'm there and I'm so excited to have every single one of you there with me. And I know that when you send me to D.C., I know that I'll be able to look back and I'll be able to look and I'll see all of you here. And I know you'll be there. And I know you'll hold me accountable and I, and I want that. But most importantly, I want you to know, hey, R.J.'s up there. I've got a situation and I'll be able to call R.J. on it. We need something, R.J., you need to come on back here so you can deal with this situation. I want to be there for you. Not for somebody else. It has nothing to do with the real problems that we're facing on the ground. So can we do it? Yes. yes. Oh boy. Well, okay. Can we do it? Yes. Democrats, can we do this? Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you so much. I appreciate the prayers. RJ Hadley, United States Senate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And listen, y'all, I am just so glad that we have some folks running for office who know that life exists south of I-285.